This week, the stogie of the week for today's show will be uh, the Avo Improvisation 30 Years uh, cigar that Joe and I are smoking right now. We'll give you an assessment a little bit about that cigar. Then we'll talk about our stogies of the week. After that, we're going to bring on George Rico from Gran Habano. So stay tuned for all that and more on this edition of the Stogie Geek Show. This is a Security Weekly production. Broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. Welcome everyone to the Stogie Geek Show. Joe and I are already silly. Oh yeah. yeah. Joe Hosempa, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood is here with me in studio. I'm fired up. And- a Vintner Cigar Club, located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Welcome, everyone, to the Stogie Geek Show. That's right. We're here today talking about all things cigars. I'm here with Mr. Joe Hollywood. What's going on, my friend? How are you? Week's flying by. <laughs> yeah, is, this your, is this your second week Second here? full week. Second full week. Yep. Wow. Week two in the books. You uh, enjoying it so far? Oh, yeah. It's a fun time. It's awesome. It's fun awesome. We got a great uh, Stogie of the Week. Actually, we were just commenting during the break. Like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of, it's light. It's very light. It's very light. It's lighter than I uh, expected, actually. And this is the Avo Improvisation 30 Years, which was uh, slated for release uh, in March of this year and hit retailer shelves. So I picked a couple up for the show. Uh, this is a seven and a half by fifty. Mm. Do you know what other Avo cigars also a seven and a half by fifty double Corona? The original improvisation. Uh, quite Maybe. possibly. Was that the same size? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm really just. There was an original <laughs> in the Avo classic covers. Yeah, I expected that if I, I've had the the one of the originals uh, that that came back. There's actually a local shop that actually sells them. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, I expected this to have a... I'm waiting Wait, for it to kick in. Can we turn Joe up a little bit? I can't, uh, I can't, I'm in trouble hearing Joe. Is that I better? Uh, no, I just... I can't hear you. Can we dude. turn Joe up? Turn Joe up, please. <laughs> turn him up a couple notches. Uh, so I looked at this and I was like, oh, it's an Avo Classic number three. Because, of course, that's a seven and a half by 50. And I, I knew... No, I didn't really know that until I read it on the internet. <laughs> but <laughs> It is an Avo Classic number three that uh, has the same exact uh, size, seven and a half by 50. And the double Corona, you don't see a lot of double Coronas uh, being released, mm. um, which is kind of interesting. I mean, it's kind of like someone took a char chill and just like cranked it up a little bit. It's a little you know? bit, yeah. So uh, the price was set at $16 per cigar. It's going to be 2,400 boxes of 25 cigars. How many cigars is that, Joe? Never mind. Don't do math. It's dangerous. Uh, so well. this is, adorns an Ecuadorian... Marron, Marin, Ecuadorian Marin wrapper, uh, Dominican binder, and fillers, and very light is my initial assessment. Extremely light is my initial assessment. I'm, I'm hoping that it kicks in in the next 15 minutes or so. Yeah, like I, I would light this up very first thing in the morning. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is really like, lighter I, than I expected. I have to like struggle to even get flavor on the retro. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. What else? What was the uh, Avo Classic covers that also had this cigar? It was the initial. Hold on, I had it. I had it up here and I lost it. Hold on. Um. Yeah, so this is part of their 2018 releases, which also include an Avo Maduro, mm. which I have right here, actually. Um. If I the internet's are not working, or, or my mouse isn't working, one of the two. Um, so this is the Avo 30th in the Maduro, uh, as well. Uh, Maduro Robusto, 30 years. I have not smoked this one, uh, yet. Still in the cellophane, kind of hard to see. Uh, but we do have this one for review as well, which would be interesting. Very nice, very nice. And so, um... So this was introduced in 2015 with Avo Classic Covers Volume 1. Um, which was a series that takes uh, tobaccos from previous Avo releases and incorporates them into an entirely uh, new blend. 
And that's really all we know about this cigar. Yeah. Uh, there's really not much else about it, although there is something about the box uh, coloring and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. I like the, I really like the orange color. Is that orange or orangish reddish hue? Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like, um, for those of you who are probably 38 plus, plus, a little bit. Plus? 38 mm. plus, it's generally orange. Ah. Yes. The box uh, is is an impressive, and the original, the improvisation, the um, the the box um, just before uh, Avo Senior had passed, when the, when that box was out, uh, it was ge- it's generally or- or- generally orange, gorgeous box. Sh- I need to take a sip of coffee. It says the box <laughs> uh, features a pattern made to mimic the signature straw hat of Avo Ovasian. There you go. Yeah. In addition to the orange bar that runs across the top. Uh, the top box is made to mimic the texture of the hat. I don't have the the box, um, but anyway, that's that's this cigar. And again, it's it's if you like light cigars, this this one's for you. This Although, one is for you if you like light. At sixteen dollars, though, I mean, I'm going to talk about some light cigars that I got at bargain basement pricing. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it, it probably not as smooth as this one, uh, although I was hoping for more in the flavor department so far, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's just, it's, v- it's, it, it's very, it's, it's, it's extremely light. Let's start with that. The retro hail, I yeah, mean, you like have I, to really struggle still, yeah, to even get anything. anything on like, the there's not even a hint of sweetness or anything. Just, it's tasty. Yeah. You know, it's tasty, it's balanced, but it's not, it's not even remotely, um, strong uh compared to some of the other stuff right that, that they've made i expected it to be a, a little bit uh yeah because alvo makes light bit, cigars but they're they're full of flavor yeah um yeah. i expected it to be more flavorful that yes is, that, i agree that's, that's where i'm I agree. at we're, we're so on the same far page so far but hopefully it'll kick in um do you want to start with speaking of bargain basements you want to start with bargain basement sure cigars um <laughs> So I don't know all that much about about this cigar. I am on a search for where it's made. Hopefully, if we talk about it, maybe someone can tell us what factory it's made out of. Mm. Uh, I believe these are made exclusively for Holtz uh, out in Pennsylvania. They're in Pennsylvania, right? Uh, And this is the Argyle uh, Habano. And this is a short filler cigar. And I, I, I wanted to see, like... When you spend about a dollar and change on a cigar, mm-hmm. and people said they were good. Uh, I haven't had much luck with bundled cigars. Uh, this was a bundle that you can get uh, 20 cigars for around $22. And twenty two ninety five, I think. So, you know, a little over a dollar a stick. Uh, and it is short filler, which means, you know, they're going to be like a little squishy, uh, when, especially down at the end, mm-hmm. you know, when you get towards the end of smoking it. So, because it is short filler. Uh, you know, they've got kind of a different consistency. Like right here, I can feel it's kind of soft. Um, also, when you clip the end, you know, and you, you're smoking it, you get... Um, uh, Mark lovingly refers to the Scooby Snacks. Yep. You get the little Scooby Snacks, little bits of tobacco uh, in your mouth because it is short filler. However, for a dollar, uh, I think the panel here at the Stoey Geeks, um, you know, uh, Johnny Blaze and Smalls in the production area, Joe and myself included were like, for a dollar, I'd I'd smoke these, and a lot yeah. of sticks at a dollar. You're like, I, I can't I even, even touch smoke it. it. Right. Can't even touch. I mean, there are some cigars at at five or ten dollars. I mean, price aside, there are some cigars that were like, I can't even smoke that. It's so terrible. Mm. This cigar was a uh, dollar and change, and totally smokable. Yeah. Now, like, would I uh, look uh, have anticipation to sit down and and have a nice pairing? With this cigar and Probably really pay not. attention to it? Probably not. Probably not. Right? It's not that kind of cigar. However, you know, if you're in your car or you're in the yard or, you know, you're doing stuff outside, golfing maybe, right? Any any situation where you're going to drop your cigar, it's going to get broken or you, you're not paying full attention to it. For a dollar, man, like these are really good smokes. Yeah, for four buck, they are good smokes. I and used also to, to give them to like your friends that maybe you know are known to like smoke half a cigar, or a little bit of it, and put it down. Perfect, dude. This is perfect because they're still going to get some. It's a good, it's a good flavorful smoke um, for a buck. So you give them to your friends, and if they smoke half of it, or if they don't smoke it at all, it's like whatever. You know, I, I didn't waste one of my five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollar cigars, and I'm not worried about it. So I thought that was a great deal. 
Uh, again, these are the Argyle Fumas. Uh, this is the Habano wrapper, and I, 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 I like, I like them. I, I, I've, and I, I struggle saying that because it's typically not something we would smoke on the show. Sure. Uh, but for a buck and change, especially with summertime coming up, you know, if you drop this one in the pond while you're fishing, you, you got three more in your, you know, your travel humidor. Light another one up and, and move on with life. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I had very low expectations. Uh, also, well, I guess that kind of plays into it, right? I knew what I paid for them. I knew they were short filler, made to be a budget value cigar. So my expectations were low. Mm-hmm. But the fact that it is smokable from the panel of Stogie Geeks here uh, is saying something. Yeah. Um, to work around the short filler, I usually ju- just bullet cut it. Yeah, that's a good advice. But you, you I know. always forget because I'm so used to straight cutting. Sure. Yeah. yeah. If you straight cut it, I mean, but even when you bullet cut it, that short... Um, Short filler is is really it'll burn hot. So, but I think yeah. bullet punch is a good way to go. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the draw tends to be kind of loose. But for a buck, it's a it's it's a it's a great smoke uh, yep. to to add to your repertoire. Repertoire, especially you love that word. repertoire. I do, especially th- this time of year when you're yeah. lighting a fire pit and you smoke sure. cigars and your non-smoking cigar friends love to smoke cigars. You could use the fire pit to light this cigar. You'd be totally fine. <laughs> Ah, like, I wouldn't do this yeah. with a $16 Avo, right? But, you know, a dollar cigar. Oh, I forgot my light. Oh, I'll just light it in the fire pit. It's fine. It's yeah. good. it give a little smoky flavor to it. It's all good. It'd be perfect. <laughs> it would be perfect for sure. I don't know. So what do you got, Joe? <sighs> uh, Black Label Trading Company Bishop's Blend. Uh, probably about 20, 25 episodes, I said that... Um, Black Label Trading Company is definitely uh, a, a company that I'm really, really paying attention to in 2018. Uh, if you've had some of their original stuff, their new stuff, their, their flavor profiles are really uh, pushing the uh, limits of, of what, they, what their normal pr- uh, pr- uh, flavor profile is. Uh, but anyway, the Black Label Trading Company Bishop's Blend um, you have a Ecuadorian Maduro wrapper. Your binder is Ecuadorian Habano. Your filler is Connecticut Broadleaf with Nicaragua and Pennsylvania Broadleaf. Absolutely, positively, in regards to complexity, flavor, and balance. Complexity, I gave it an 8. Flavor and balance, I gave it a 9. Box worthy all day. Box worthy box, from you, Joe. Box worthy. Holy that's, crap! Yeah, that, I'm. I'm. And, and what uh, was the Black Label Trading Company? What was the the uh, blend? The Bishop's blend. Bishop's blend. Yep. Bishop's blend. Wow. It's so tasty. Um, it borderlines medium. Uh, if you're new to smoking, I would say medium full. But it borderlines medium. But if you're looking for a tasty medium. Uh, if you're an experienced smoker or if you're a novice, if you're looking for a tasty full, I'm, I'm into the, to the spice and taste profile. So this will certainly accomplish that. Uh, I, I want to go back to the Argyle Fumas uh, for a moment because I didn't give the size. And that's a Toro size. That was the other thing that impressed me was you're not getting like a Petit Corona or a cigarillo, mm-hmm. or even a reboot, like you're getting a Toro for right. that for that money, which I think when it's short filler, you kind of need a larger cigar so that it doesn't burn too hot. You need something with, a, 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 I think, a pretty sizable ring gauge, uh, like to have in a, in a Toro size. So, um, this is a, a classic cigar that uh, I got uh, a pretty good deal on, actually. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about my my latest uh, deal shopping. Uh, I got this box of Arturo Fuente Double Chateau Fuentes uh, for like 115 bucks for the box, which is around five bucks a cigar. I want to say, uh, if I can, do, I can't do the math, but anyway, um, these are just like a classic Connecticut with that hint of sweetness, a little bit of like grassy kind of hay flavor uh, going on with it, you know. And uh, I like it. The problem I have with them is like the very last third or even like the even when you get into the last third the latter half of the last third they get a little harsh mm-hmm. for me yeah That's, did you find that too did you smoke this one yep did yep. you find the same thing yeah a it, little harsh at the end right yeah yeah especially you know I'm, i kind of chew like look at my cigar already like i, I chew 
the cigars oh, yeah. as 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 we go and and I found it just you know when when the V cut opens up it just got really really harsh and then uh, I don't want to say quite um stale but it kind of like just faded out and just it became very out. bitey like it was like yeah. it's it's that tobacco it's harsh, bite. a little yeah. harsh yeah, yeah. At, at the end yeah. um so I you know I mean for you know, a little under five dollars, or whatever, around five dollars. You know, they're hearing this like for six dollars and fifty cents, uh, which might be a different size. It might be a robusto size there. Uh, no, this is a, a Toro size. So, you know, I think it's good. I, I probably would rank this a, a fiver. If you know, I already bought a box, so I mean, that was just me. But in the assessment of the cigar, this would be a fiver for me, mm-hmm. right? And I think if you can get them on a deal. When it gets down to that final third, you just pitch it and, and move on with life. I think the value for that smoking experience uh, is right on. And when you get to the final third, you're just going to pitch it, which is kind of unfortunate. But that's what I thought of the Arturo Fuente uh, Chat- Double Chateau. Chateau Series Double Chateau. Natural. This is a natural. Nice presentation in the box, though. This one has that uh, plastic uh, insert mm-hmm. where each cigar has its own individual thing. Get a nice cedar uh, sleeve on all of them with a, a, a nice green colored uh, footband. So the you know the presentation's classic Fuente. Nice presentation, but that's that's the assessment. What else you got, Joe? EP Carrillo Encore. I guess that's a new one that had came out yes. uh, over in March when we had the interview with Ernesto. Uh, complexity, I gave it an eight. Flavor, I gave it a seven. Balance, I gave it an eight. Rapid binder filler is all Nicaraguan. It's available in four different sizes. Um, for a Nicaraguan cigar, I found fi- I found it to be pretty. Just um, it 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 wasn't strong at all for for Nicaraguan cigar. I was I was kind of shocked, and I just. It was I'm dropping the ball today. I had one of, the, I had one of these on dis- for display. <laughs> I, so you oh, could actually, the, yeah, it's oh. uh, anyway. Everyone knows what these uh, look like. Okay, okay. sorry. Right. Carry on. The 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 EP Creo uh, Encore. Like I said, wrapper binder filler is all Nicaraguan. It's available in four different sizes. I gave it a fiver. I don't know if it needs to rest. I found for for compared to their other stuff. Um, I'm kind of addicted to the to the taste, like on the short run 2015s by EP Carrillo. Sure. Or the 13s. Who isn't? And you know, for 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 this sticks available in 10 count boxes. Like I said, it's four different sizes. If you see one, give it a fiver. But uh, I'm quite sure that I'll be getting email Joe H at StogieGeeks.com of people who hear otherwise, because you know pe- people are asking me, "Have you tried it? Have you tried it yet?" And I was like, "Yeah, I tried it." It was like, "It's all right." Like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. If you have feedback for the show, it's Joe H <laughs> at StokeyGeeks.com. <laughs> <laughs> Send it all there. Uh, I also smoked an EP Carrillo New Wave Connecticut uh, Brillantes, which is the Robusto size, which is a good little smoke. I think it packs a little more punch than some of the other larger sizes in the New Wave uh, line. I definitely... Uh, got these. This is a, a five by fifty robusto, and I definitely got these on uh, on sale uh, online as well. I, I think they're good. Like I said, it's got a little more a little more flavor uh, and, and punch to them than some of the other sizes. Uh, I again, I would call this a fiver. It's not my favorite size. I much prefer the Toro, mm. even the sixty ring, uh, and larger sizes in uh, the new wave line, and not so much the robusto. Uh, and everyone knows I'm an EP Carrillo fan, so, uh, but this is not my favorite size, but, you know, time-wise, if I've got time for a Robusto, and I'm craving, you know, an EP Carrillo Connecticut, you know, this is, this is a good go-to, and it's a fiver, it's a fiver. Back to you, Joe, that was it, that was quick, I know, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> choo-choo. Uh, Liga Pavada Unico Siri Velvet Rat. Oh, yeah, that was, oh. Oh, my Those are good. God. Joe, we need more scent for sure. Oh. <laughs> Joe from Drew Estate. Uh, Dear Drew Estate. <laughs> Let me tell you. We love the Velvet Rat. Completely 
is some happen to make their way back to us somehow. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We will smoke them. Complexity, I gave it an eight. Flavor and balance, I gave it a ten. Um, your wrapper is a Connecticut Broadleaf. Binder is a Brazilian Maltafina. 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 Not Malta. Malta is a Malta is a, a place, right? <laughs> it's a place. Not in yeah, Portugal. It's a place. Not in Portugal. Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah. I think so. Well, I'm bad. Don't ask me geography <laughs> or math <laughs> questions or history questions uh, on the yeah. show. Ask questions about cigars. I'm good. Are there cigars in Malta? Computer security. <laughs> uh, Not yeah. that I know of. Your fil- I've never heard of Malta cigars. Malta. <laughs> we talked about Puerto Rican cigars last time. Yeah, Puerto last Rican week, cigars. Right? They were good. Uh, I've never. I don't think I've had a uh, Puerto Rican cigar. Well, what are we saying? They don't make them here. Anyway, talk about your Malta. I mean, Matafina. My ma- your Malta ma- My Brazilian Matafina. And the filler is a Honduran, Nicaraguan, size six and a quarter by 46. It's a Lonsdale. Let me tell you something. Find these, get these, fight Chuck Norris. Incredible, incredible cigar. Did you get a little bit of that dark cherry sweetness? I got, mm. I got nice sweetness, tobacco sweetness, dark cherry sweetness towards the end. Because I probably chew my cigars. I, I, it, I smoke yeah, Don't this. chew your Why do you chew? I don't know. I don't know. It's just the way you go. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try to, you work know. Work on that. I'll work <laughs> on that. <laughs> but let me tell you something. You, I mean, we need more of these. You need more of this I need velvet more, rat in your life. I need, I more, you. I I need you. more of this velvet rat in my life for sure. Okay. There you go. We'll get you a box. It's a fight Chuck Norris all day. Nice. That's a that's a high. Re- your your ratings are off the charts this week. <laughs> that's what I like. That was going. You know. That's good. I did the. Uh, we both did this one. Uh, Grand Habano, Connecticut, number one, Rothschild. Grand, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What did you think of that? Yeah. That's good. Good little Connecticut, right? That, that is a great morning stick, uh, for sure. And for Connecticut, it's got a it's got a little kick to it. The taste factor is is re- is really great. Goes great with coffee. Great in the morning. Uh, every once in a while, you, you would smoke it, and then every once in a while, it would just kind of kick kick up a notch. What you know? I, I, what do you think the price point is on those cigars? That that was a robusto. Uh, it was a Rothschild. Hold on, I'll tell you Rothschild the exact size. It was probably keep talking. I don't know, six six seven bucks. Six or seven dollars, huh? Yeah, for for because that, that was a little it was a small size. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. That's a, I, I that's. What I would think, and I think that's what they retail for, uh, around six bucks or so, right? Uh, boxes, yeah. So around five, six bucks is what they retail for. Um, and this is a four and a half by fifty. Mm-hmm. Um, it's an Ecuadorian wrapper, uh, Connecticut, Connecticut shade Ecuadorian wrapper. Um, it's really good. I paid two bucks a piece for them. Mm. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> they come in bundles of twenty five, and the bundle was fifty bucks. As, um, That's um, pretty impressive, right? Um, I'm all, I'm all over that deal, right? Yeah. You got you got to jump on that deal. Mm-hmm. I, I I think at that price, they're bundle worthy for me, box worthy, yep. bundle worthy, uh, in my opinion. Certainly at that price, I'd even pay the five bucks for them and still call them box worthy, dude. Yeah, we're not going to you know? tell you uh, on air where they are, but if you want the link, you can email Joe H at StogieGeeks dot com. Yeah, I don't think it's really a huge secret where I do some of my shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes I'm, you know, worried about giving some people love. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's like when you watch TV and the you know the person's shirt or yeah. you know bottle or whatever is blurred out. Yep. That's right. That's what we're doing. But this is a great little smoke. Uh, and again, I got these in a bundle. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one I'm looking at now is in a, a box. So it's a perfect morning smoke. Perfect little morning smoke with coffee. How's your avo? It's, it's picking up a little bit in the flavor department. Yeah, not a whole yeah. lot, but a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, Still really like Camacho Coyolar Super Toro. It's that new one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the re-released new one from Camacho. It's the, the, old, the, the old new <laughs> it's one. It's the old, the new, old one. new one. It's the old new one from Camacho. Had it. Complexity 6. Flavor and balance. How do you spell that? Coy, C-O- K- 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 Jeepers, girl. C-O-Y-O-L-A-R. Yeah. Camacho Coyola Super Toro. Coyola. Coy- Coy- uh, I, I guarantee you we're saying that wrong. I, I, but I don't you have think any, so? I don't have any suggestions. I don't know how else you would say that. We need a language consultant for this show. <laughs> we, 
If you someone know how to pronounce rappers, email Paul at uh, it's a, uh, security, rapper, security Week. Uh, the different <laughs> types of tobacco in the cigar names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We need you can read about them on the internet, but that doesn't tell you how to pronounce them. We need a tobacconist. We need a yes. A we need someone who knows what the hell they're talking about. A description. <laughs> someone to correct my language, because you know. Uh, Which size did you have? Uh, Super Toro. Super Toro. Super Toro. It's available to the in, rescue. It's available. It's a six five. and a half by fifty-two. Super Toro. Yep. Super Toro. Um, super. It's yeah. a super. Super Toro. Uh, this was obviously a re a re-release. Yep. You um, said that. There. <laughs> Complexity six. Flavor Couple balance already. seven. I, I I'd give it a try one. Like, sure. You know, the, if you're that's it, just to try one. Yeah, huh? you weren't impressed. No, no, I was, I was impressed. And and you know, it's uh, the 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 shop owner. I love it. He's like, oh, we we got this. It's new. I was like, okay. I light it. I'm halfway through. He sees my face and he goes, and I'm not gonna charge you for it. <laughs> 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 I said, why? What's the matter? He goes, I can just tell you. You're just not digging it. I go, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm not. But you know, but I, I tried to you know smoke it and I just just wasn't feeling it. Have you smoked the Warp Cigars La Colmania? No, I've shied away from those for no oh, other. Why? And no, I don't know. These are really good. Because I get emails every day from them in our inbox. Uh, from Warped? <laughs> well, yeah, from the vendors on the on the show. It's still unique oh. there. And you this know. is this is a great cigar. Uh, this is box worthy in my opinion. It's got a closed foot pigtail. Um, I've smoked and reviewed. I've reviewed these for the show before. And I really like them. I think this is a great morning smoke. I think you would like this as a morning smoke because, you know, this size especially, I think, really brings out the flavors and it's got some good uh, amount of strength to it for a Connecticut and really kind of lets you know it's there. Uh, so why don't you give, give that one a shot, Joe? Okay. I, these are, I, I really like them. I think they're fantastic. I get like a Cuban-esque kind of... Now? Not oh, now. Oh. A Cuban-esque... <laughs> kind of profile <laughs> now one that i think you would uh so those are box worthy in my opinion i'm gonna go buy a box of those la colmenas the again the complexity the richness of the tobacco is above and beyond a lot of the other kind of lighter morning smokes uh that i have so that's gonna be i kind of put that right up there with the uh what's the one from tatawahe the lighter connect i smoked negotiant through, negotiant i smoked through my whole did yeah. i smoke through my whole damn box that's, negotiant? All, that's yeah i did if not, you did might I have, already? You might have had some help. That box wasn't that old. <laughs> you might have it had some help. It wasn't that old, dude. <laughs> you, 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 uh, you were smoking my negotiations. I, that's fine. I don't care. I remember the episode. Well, it was the movie that episode. Yeah. I had uphill. Probably like three episodes in a row. Dude, those things were <laughs> off the charts, right? <laughs> they're awesome. Yeah. They're awesome. The Colmenia is pretty close to that. Pretty close. Okay. Not quite. Not quite. Mm-hmm. Negotiant, I think I would put a slight edge over that one. Okay. But I'd put them in a similar kind of category. Like you like Connecticut's, but you want something a little different, but not too over the top, you know, mm-hmm. in strength. To me, Negotiant and La Colmania are my choices in that category. Now, also from Warp Cigars is the Corto. This is the Corto. This one's got some punch, man. Let me tell you, this one is uh, a, a little flavor bomb, and it's got a good amount of strength to it. It's got a nice, earthy. Uh, flavor profile coupled with a little bit of spice. Um, I'll make myself want to just light this up and smoke it now. It's just, it's so good. I'm gonna give this one to you to smoke as well because I've reviewed that one. Those are awesome as well. That mo- is also box worthy for me. I that is a great after dinner. Excuse me, later in the year, like that's a great smoke. Okay. I really, I'm, I'm in love with warp cigars. I really am. I think they do some really, really nice. Uh, they've got a nice line. It's it's different. Um, I don't think it's priced ridiculous, and uh, they they smoke great. It's got a good good profile to all their their various blends. So it's got my seal of approval. I like it. Final what? stick I have for today is uh, the uh, Crux Guild. I had the Toro Extra Marblehead. That is the size. That's a six and a half by fifty two. Uh, wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano. Binder and filler is Nicaraguan Complexity. Seven. Flavor and balance, I gave it an eight. Gave it a box split. Nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a good stick. You know, the uh, Crux Guild. I, I did have the Robusto uh, a couple of weeks ago. Well, I say a couple of weeks ago. It had to be at least a couple of months ago, actually. Uh, I did have the Robusto, and I gave that a box split as well. I was actually shocked at how... Um, 
even though that there were two different sizes, like the Robusto, obviously five by fifty, and the uh, Toro Extra Marblehead six and a half by fifty two, kind of smoked the same for sure. But uh, de definitely a box split. If you're into the Crux uh, brand and blends, maybe box split with a friend. But check them out. Awesome. What else? What else have you been smoking? That's it's pretty much it. I mean, we've been. Sm I've been. You know, I bought some of my cigars now that I'm here every day. But uh, good stuff. What else is going on? Well, I look something up. What oh. else is going? <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> later on in the second segment, uh, we are going to interview George Rico from Grand Habano Cigars. Uh, he's going to let us know what's going on in the world of Grand Habano. They're one of those uh, uh, cigar companies that's been around forever. And one of the things that we're going to talk about is some of the new blends uh, that have uh, come out already and um, what they got going on for the, for the rest of, the, of this year. Dude, I spoke to a Paul Gamarian trying to look up which one it is because I don't remember off the top of my head. We it's got some of those too. It's got to be the 25th. It's got to be the 25th. No, the 25th is is probably also Oasis. Um, which one is it? It's in the bottom corner now. I can't I can't remember which one it was. And I, I didn't have it like in my notes and stuff because I just smoked it last night when I was doing the show. So it's got to be the 20th anniversary because it is an anniversary one, right? Is that the symphony? Simp, uh, simp. It's got to be the the 20th yeah it's the 20th anniversary short robusto okay dude this cigar and it, this is sat for a while mm. in my humidor holy crap mm. is it good it's just amazing yeah. Oasis for sure yeah three cigars sure. we we need to to get uh the Velvet Rats Paul Gamarians yep. and some of the uh, Maya Salvas. Yes. Oh, I did smoke that Maya Salva Robusto yes. that you gave me. That was really good, too. Yes, the Coon Pie. Yeah. No, <laughs> it wasn't the Coon Pie. It wasn't... You gave me a Toro-sized cigar, too, that okay. I reviewed it last week or the week before. Okay. That one was my favorite oh, out yeah. of all of them. The Robusto, was, it was good. It was, it was, it was okay. I like the, their Toro-sized cigars the best. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of Toro sizes in their, in their line. Uh, that I, in a different blends that tend to be the bell of the ball, in my opinion, mm. is that Toro size. So uh, that was definitely one of my favorite uh, cigars. Was that was the Toro size, but and the Paul Camarion, that was really good. And I smoked a Davidoff Year of the Dog. Yes, is that the new one for the? Is that is that this year's? I yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's so, <laughs> uh, I did smoke the year of the dog. That was awesome. That was fight Chuck Norris. I thought that was really good, and my expectations were kind of low because some of those, you know, da the Davidoff lines that they come out with the, you know, the the year of the whatever, uh, are kind of hit or miss for me. Mm -hmm. Like some are good, some aren't, uh, and and they're all like thirty dollars plus. Uh, this one was awesome. Yeah, it was fight Chuck, fight Chuck Norris, man. Like that was really good. I smoked that on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And it was just amazing. It was hard for me to concentrate on, on doing a show. I was doing a different show on Wednesday, and I was like, I can't even concentrate right now. The stick is so good. You know, that stick was so good that I was doing some work, and you know how we had you on the monitor? Mm -hmm. And I turned to Samantha. I go, he's doing the air of the dog. Yeah. And she goes, the label? I go, oh, yeah, it's the air of the dog. And I said, the dog. That stick is so good. Answer to your question is that was for this year. Yes. The Davidoff year of the dog. Did you give wrapper binder filler? I have not. What is the wrapper it's binder filler on that? Ecuadorian Habano Claro uh, is the wrapper. Your binder is uh, Dominican San Vicente Seco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your filler is Dominican Republic with Nicaraguan Seco and Visa. It was awesome. Seven awesome. by 50 of total and what's the msrp 38 dollars <laughs> 39 bucks 39 dollars yeah. yeah. comes in boxes of 10 go for it knock yourself out i, well, I it's, it's gotta be what it's gotta be fight chuck norris or Oasis. it is fight chuck norris yeah, in my yeah. I, in yeah. my ra and I, I find it interesting that uh i smoked a cigar that was a dollar and change and one that was 39 dollars <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, though, in terms of value, that that dollar cigar is is, is pretty good. But uh, and it's not all about what you spend, right? But that cigar was the year. The dog was just amazing, mm -hmm. amazing, 
Amazing. So one thing I'm noticing about this cigar, the one that the stick of the week yeah, that we're it's doing, it's picking up a little bit. It's picking up a little bit. It, it feels delicate. Does it feel like like just light and just delicate? It like it just no, no, no. All right, just <laughs> all right, that's cool. Oh, Joe's bullshit fact is coming out. <laughs> time to time to go to the next segment. And then in regards to the the, uh, the flavor, I mean, it's kicking in a little bit. Um, I w- I would expect more. That 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 that's my assessment of it. If you're out there, yeah, I mean, you I know, agree. I I, w- I would expect more. Um, if I had to rate you it, you need to put a little more oomph in it, dude. Yeah, the see, it's it's tough to rate because like the price point at that price point, if you're even comfortable with that uh, pr- price point, it's so much, m- so many more sticks that we could recommend. I, and I, I mean, you know? it's so smooth now. I mean, it, it. I'm having a tough time putting my my finger on the flavor. But it it definitely is, and it's so smooth. I, I mean, just the retro hail is just elegant. But again, lacking that, like, there's nothing for me to sink my teeth into, right? Nah, it's it's it is smooth. Uh, you know, it's got great smoke, but it's just kind of great and, smoke production. Yeah, with, perfect. With, but Burn within the taste profile, and smoke production is like ten out of ten in all categories. Right, but within the taste profile, I mean, dare I use the word? It's just flat. Yeah, it's just flat. I mean, that that that's just that's just my assessment. You know. Uh, as far as a there's rating, a little natural tobacco sweetness, like a natural yeah. tobacco flavor with like a, maybe a hint of sweetness on the retro hail. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm getting now. Yeah, you know. but I had to get a little more than halfway through. Yeah, to, to the beginning to of there. it was, yeah, the beginning was, was, was like almost airy. non-existent. It, yeah, it was know? kind of like um, <laughs> Griffin's, like a Griffin's uh, Connecticut, like yeah, a, little, come to two, a little more milder than Griffin's for sure. Yeah, no, the no, the well. The Griffin's Nicaragua is the one that you like. Yeah, oh, I know the regular one. Griffin's. The yeah. regular yeah. the regular Griffin's, I think, are very airy. Yeah, they're on sale this week too. Are they? Mm-hmm. Oh, the Nicaraguans again. Yeah. They're always on sale. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, I think uh, we're the uh, only ones that freaking uh, smoke them, dude. Because every <laughs> shop I go into too are like, yeah, we're closing those out, or like, you're. I'm like the only one buying them. I'm right. like, why is that? Uh, why well, am I the only? Joe and I are like the only ones that get, are on this Griffin's Nicaraguans kick, dude. I smoked the Rebuso this morning. It was freaking awesome. I love having them at my disposal. Like, just eh, we're oh, kicking around. God. I'm gonna and, try. They're freaking awesome. I, it's, yeah, and it's oh. just like that hint of grassiness. Mm-hmm. That grassy flavor is there, and it's just a hint. Of, I think that's why people don't like it, because I think they're thinking Nicaraguan, and when they light it up, it doesn't taste like a traditional Nicaraguan at all, because it's got that grassy component yep. in there, which it's I so it's like a herbal, little herbally. Ah, I just, they're yeah, they're awesome. It's so smooth. I love it. Well, that's uh, that's it. I guess uh, that's like everything I smoked this week. I think there we did a good go. job that's of running a, through everything should, that I smoked. Starting Monday, you should start writing them down. I should, I need to get better. It's tough to get used to the. I'm still getting used to the 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 switch from Monday to yeah. Friday. Yes, you know, in your repertoire and trying right. to do that because I usually spend Saturday or Sunday prepping and figuring out, you know, what I'm going to at least talk about. Right. You know, and then kind of organizing that thought. I mean, you know, at least eight ten hours of work right there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, but we're <laughs> right. The prep. Well, that uh, concludes this segment. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you on the interview, which is coming up next with George Rico. Stay tuned.